what's happening everyone vegetarian zombie here and look at this guess what we're playing a new game not just any game guys a new radiation city game that's right we have escape from chernobyl just released today from atypical games and as you can see here i am um just kind of i don't know where i am what am i looking at oh look look around Ooh, look at this um Items which can be gathered. Okay, so this game is starting off very similar to Radiation Island. If you haven't played Radiation Island, you can check out my series on it, my Let's Play series. And uh, there was actually a follow-up to Radiation Island called Radiation City. This is a sequel to that. So here we are. We're going to look around. Uh, we got to pick up something. I got something. I love it. Who, what the heck was that? <laughs> All right. So here we are. We're, we woke up in a reactor of some sort. Now, I never finished Radiation City yet, really wasn't a fan of it. You can watch, I made like six videos on it, and I just, I just, I got burnt out on the game. And uh, it looks like this is supposedly, this is right after where that game finishes. I got about maybe, I didn't even complete the first tower of that game. I'm so lame! Oh, I can, I can, I can jump, I can sprint, I can open up my backpack. And everything actually looks pretty much the same. This section will contain your gear. Uh, your crafting in interface. Now, crafting in Radiation City was actually pretty weak. It wasn't like Radiation Island where you had to craft everything. In Radiation City, you could only craft a few things. And it looks like that's remaining. All right. And we got fists. Fist of power. Oh, what did I just go over? <laughs> An important part of the game is using your notebook. All right, so we press L. Uh, this isn't a notebook. This is a tablet. After activating the pre pre I can never say this. Pray Pyatt main tower. I woke up in the middle of what looks like unit four reactor of the Chernobyl power plant with no gears and what how do you how can you jump to this conclusion? As far as I know, Lauren managed to get to the complex too. I should try to find a trace of her in the complex. So I guess he never found his wife in Radiation City. Spoiler. <laughs> it worked. It's all gone. Stay away. You know, that's not how you use a tablet, by the way. Just a uh, pro tip. You don't you don't carve the things into the screen. You can just, uh, you know, there's a program called Notes that you can use. Otherwise, you'll buy a tablet each time you need to leave a note. Or you can buy a notebook, even cheaper. All right, what's this? Antibiotics and bandage, yeah! All right, why am I turning blue? I'm guessing I'm getting radiated. Find a way through the collapsed debris into the floors below. All right, let's do this. So I'm pretty excited. Again, this was released today. I had no idea there was going to be a follow-up to Radiation City. I just saw the Twitter announcement by Atypical Games, and I was like, hey, let's give it a shot. Let's see Let's see what it's like now. Now, I'm playing this. I'm not playing this on an iPad. I'm playing this on my MacBook Pro. So, it may look different or play different. Scattered across the complex are strange anomalies that absorb radiation. They are bright green, and they will clean all radi radiation sickness and also radiation absorbed by equipped gear. All right. Let's do this. Hello. Woo. It's like eating a power pellet in Pac-Man. All right. All right. So this actually feels like more... Okay, then. <laughs> I, is, is this day? Or is that just the game freaking out on me? This feels a much more direction than Radiation City. Radiation City started off with you crashing a plane. Pretty much. And, um, I guess I'm gonna just follow these lights here. And you woke up in a plane crash, and then you pretty much ran around being chased by zombies the entire game. I don't know, I never finished it! As I mentioned in that playthrough, I liked Radiation Island, I loved Radiation Island. And, uh, that had, like, survival and goal-oriented, um, a goal-oriented story admission. And in Radiation City, it felt like if Radiation Island was more like Minecraft, Radiation City is more like DayZ. Like, in Radiation Island, you, you crafted things and built things. In Radiation City, you looted things and murdered people. It was pretty good. <laughs> so, I never actually got really too deep into Radiation... Ooh, we got a pipe. Let's get our lead pipe. So, I never got too deep into Radiation City. Nothing happened now. However, if anyone tries to activate the tower in Pripyat, everything should get destroyed. I hope the fireworks will be good. The radiation dose I got here was too high for any hopes to leave this place. I wonder if you'll ever get to see this. I know the truth needs to come out, and you won't let this be. I just hope you won't have the same fate. 
This was Lauren Shepard investigating the Pripyat disappearances. Goodbye, my love. And she left me her iPad. You know, again, just leave a note. <laughs> Don't leave tablets. It's like the most expensive expedition ever. <laughs> we need 700 tablets. <laughs> so we can leave notes. Uh, you know, you could just use one tablet. No! I want all the tablets! Alright, we're going down. Going down, going down. Oh my god. Am I getting, like, radiated? I'm guessing what that- that's what this is. I can see the Radiation City sound designer is back. <laughs> Glad to see he or she is still getting work. Alright, we got another pipe. Nice. Most of your actions generate noise. The amount of noise you are the amount of noise you are currently making is indicated by the sound wave indicator at the bottom of the screen. Various zombies will react different to different noise. Some will ignore it, others will not, so learn their behavior and plan accordingly. Ah! Plan? Have you seen my playthroughs game? There's no planning. There's no planning in baseball. Bandage, yes. All right, so this feels very much like Radiation City. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh. You're dead. <laughs> Another tablet. Kill switch. Okay. I guess we're going to kill the kill switch. All right, uh, so I think I had bandages. Oh, yeah. What are these? These look like radiation pills. Yeah! All the radiation! I am totally fine. As he walks right into radiation. Hello! Excuse me, sir. Uh, what is this guy running around in a diaper? <laughs> He's the same diaper guy from Radiation City. Now, the frames, I'm playing this on a MacBook Pro. And the uh, frames, um, not so good. Letting you know. Alright, I, I, alright. Chests. I got it. Chest. Hello? And what else we got here? Another tablet. There are lots of locked pathways. I'm not sure if they did any repairs to the area or just built everything on top of it, but I need to mark a path if I'm ever to get out of here. I'm also locked behind as many doors to keep those things away. <laughs> no, we're going to go right through the things. Leather pouch. Boots. Can I pick those up? Let's see. Ooh, first aid kit. Could use the first aid kit. Now, does it automatic? No, it doesn't automatically equip my boots, so we'll put those on. We need, a like, a backpack, too. All right, let's go through here. Booyah! <laughs> what is with these cutscenes? Okay, then. Hello. All right, so this feels nice and familiar. Hello! I'm going to hit you in the head. I'm not too sure about the sound meter. I'm not a big, you know, I never pay attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> that zombie had a glass jaw. Oh my god, rags. If you didn't play Radiation City, rags are basically what you need for everything. It's like bandages. Brrr. Another big difference oh. between Radiation City and Radiation Island is Radiation City, the zombies run. Radiation Island, they kind of took their time, which was nice. All right, can we, what do we hold it like that? No. What, what did I do with my axe? There we go. This is my favorite favorite weapon in Radiation City. Is the axe. I don't know what I just did. There we go. Hello? May I ask you? Oh, come on! Can I teabag this guy? <laughs> Alright, let's use my medicine and we're gonna keep moving. Alright, so we need to shut this place down or escape. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. Oh, I gotta follow the yellow thing. That's what I'm doing. That's my quest! <laughs> The only thing is for idiots like me. I'll just wander forever. Can I pick up the radiation pills? Radiation pills. Oh, I gotta, like, mouse over exactly. I gotta put the cursor over the item. I just can't, like, mouse over the the icon. It's kind of, it's got a Fallout feel to it. Kind of. Well, not really. <laughs> it's just kind of dirty. There's lots of messy stuff around here. Can I get around here? Oh, my God. Invisible colliders! I hate them! All right, so am I supposed to uh, climb down here, maybe? Let's try. <laughs> okay, then! 
Wow! The floor is lava! <laughs> I'm also playing on higher graphics. I may lower the graphics just to uh, get better frame rates. That to me is more important than anything. Here, let's put on the boots. These boots are made for throwing down. All right. Um, insta kills, man. It's what's for dinner. I don't like insta kills. But it's kind of interesting. It loaded me back at a checkpoint. What do we got here? What do we got here? What is that screaming noise? All right, I can't pick that up. How do I pick that up? What is that? Is that a hoodie? It doesn't look like a hoodie. Okay, then. <laughs> Who leaves a hoodie on a desk? Oh, uh, next to my... Next to my reports, I have a hoodie. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's... Oh, my God. And we're in. All right, let's see if we can find that axe again. Hello! <laughs> you didn't do much better that time, but we'll give you an A for effort. All right, here's this idiot. All right, let's get, oh God, not this. Oh, come on, is he stuck? Oh. Uh, zombies seem much easier to kill this time. I remember having a hard time with them last time. All right, we can throw this away. What is that? What, what's the flashing backpack? Maybe I should read these things. All right, pick it up, man. Pick it up! Pick up the axe! The axe! You stupid idiot! Get the fire axe! <laughs> Thank you. Duct tape was pretty important in Radiation City. You used it to repair. Here, let's heal ourselves up. You used it to repair like like um, vehicles you'd find all over the map. I'm guessing there's going to be vehicles in this, too. All right, can I go around here? No, maybe we have to go around on the other side. I don't want to jump down there because I don't want to die for some reason. <laughs> I remember playing uh, Fallout 3, and there was, uh, there was the DLC, The Pit, and in it, there was, like, a certain location where if you jumped up, you would fall through the world and die. It was like the worst thing. Ah, game was so buggy. Okay, looks like I got... Am I bleeding again? Bleeding was such a big deal in Radiation Island, and it was such not a big deal in Radiation City. They were like, it's not a... All right, is this going to kill me? There are a lot of zombies here. Ah, this is Zombieville. Oh, I'm getting radiated, aren't I? What's down here? Duct tape, rag, radiation pills. Yeah! Oh, I can see my radiation meter is like filling up right now. Oh well. Eh, we gotta have a little radiation now and then, you know what I'm saying? God, everyone's dropping duct tape. Is that all they have in the apocalypse? Ooh, this is fire axe? That's a fire axe, all right. Let's get rid of our wood axe. Will you stop doing that and get our Fire axe? Fire axe. Yeah! Alright, let's keep moving. I guess I should pay attention to sounds, but whatever. <laughs> I'm making a lot of noise. That's my prerogative. I don't need to meet Cleaver. I got an axe, man. They're giving me all the weapons right now. Alright, now there's stairs. I thought I saw stairs on this side. I should probably take some of those fancy radiation pills I got. Meh. <laughs> That guy was a chump. Look at this! I feel like the game's having pity on me. They're like, this guy's really bad. Let's give him something. Let's just give him a hand. Oh, yeah! So this feels very much like I'm... I don't know. Like I have direction. And that's a big thing for me. I hate being lost in games. Like, whatever... All right, that guy's toes. Like, what am I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Like, I hate it when I r run into that. I'm bleeding again. Let's use a bandage. Oh, yeah. What a chump. Why are they giving me all... Can you stop that? Wow! That guy was huge. It's a zombie pile. 
What's up, dude? Go through the ventilation building? I'm working on it, man! I should probably use some more health. Oh, yeah! That's it! Alright, so, this way? Oh, man. Oh, all this radiation! So, it's it seems much more like... I don't remember going into, like, a building like that. Like this in Radiation City. Already, this feels very different. And I, I will say, like, the, the textures have improved also. Radiation City, I remember just... I typically don't care about textures, but they were really muddy. And I was using, like... I, I was using my Hackintosh, which... Which has a 980 Ti in it, and I was just like, "You gotta be kidding me!" So this looks much better. They're doing a, a really good job. Doing a nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. My God, they're giving me all the radiation pills. <laughs> Don't you want to give some to someone else? Try to get to the Unit Three reactor. All right, let's uh, let's get all our radiation taken care of right here. <laughs> I don't quite understand how that works, but it's an anomaly. Alright, am I getting close here? Hello? Hello? So, I'll try to I'll, like play around with the graphics settings, guys, just so that we can get a better frame rate. I'm guessing we're lucky if we're hitting 30. But, again, that's not really... This, is, this isn't a powerful... Um, I'm playing, like I said, I'm playing on my MacBook, and this is not really a powerful device. Hello? Yeah, you didn't think I, you didn't think I heard you. I mean, you got rags? <laughs> the first, first Radiation City, finding rags were, were, like, such a pain. It's like, everyone's wearing clothes, and I'm like, why can't I use their clothes as a rag? Then again, would you use, like, a zombie's clothes to, like, bandage yourself? It seems, like, open to, like, infection. Brawr. Brawr. <laughs> also, the zombies seem much easier now. Or maybe because I just have my trusty fire axe. Alright, let's use a bandage. Yeah! Loving it. I love it! Alright, let's go in here. Hello! And more pills? Pills here. Med kit. I like it. And finally, we have some trousers. And is this another hoodie? This guy keeping hoodies in their desk? Sports shoes. No. Oh, so the hoodie was probably behind there. Am I getting radiated again? I'm getting radiated, guys. Not for long. Ooh, we got a fanny pack. We definitely need that. So we're going to keep the fanny pack. Even though my style points went down. <laughs> wow, I am getting like radiated like up the kazoo right now. I could get out of here. It's like super radiated. <laughs> oh, you stop that. All right, we can't mess around here anymore. Oh, this is much better. Now I can mess around. Ah! <laughs> I like how the first aid kit, like, gets rid of my radiation, too. That's pretty cool. I should probably take that other fire axe. Miner helmet. Nice. Another hoodie. What is up with the hoodies here? Oh, can I get through here? No. Can't get in there. Uh, it's telling me to go here. What is this? Another fanny pack? Another med kit? I got two fanny packs. I don't know what that means about me. Okay, I think we're we're on the right right track now, guys. No. Woo! Yeah. And here we can dump off stuff. Pretty cool. All right. Ah! What are you doing? Jeez. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for me on this one. So this is Escape from Chernobyl. This is out on the App Store. If you're interested in trying it out, you can get it on your iPad, iPhone, and so forth. It, it, like I said, my first react, my first reactions are it feels much nicer than Radiation City. It's a nice. I, I think they've been 
listening to the criticism and uh, have been improving it. So take that as it is. If you want to see more of these, let me know. Just leave a comment or hit that like button. And of course, if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe as well. I'd certainly appreciate the support. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you then.